Hi, welcome back to Roy Studio Adventures. I was asked recently if I could switch up my percussion videos and do something a little different. So, with the help of my good friend Hopeton Roden, we're going to go through and explain and maybe get a little bit of history about these drums. And that's coming up next on Roy Studio Adventures. The Remo Key Tune Island Finnish Tabano is the brainchild of Remo Belly who founded the Remo Drumhead Company in 1957. Remo Belly was a drummer himself and was disappointed in the lack of quality drumheads that were available during his time. This disappointment led him to create his own drumhead company, which quickly gained popularity among drumming circles. As the Remo Drumhead Company expanded, Remo Belly saw an opportunity to create new percussion instruments that could complement his drumheads. He set out to design a percussion instrument that could produce a deep bass sound, similar to that of a conga, but without the need for tuning. This was when he came up with the original idea for the tabano. I don't mean to be corny, but if you hit the like, smash the bell, and subscribe so you can see so you can see more video so you can you know watch videos of us you know after we make them the tycoon fiberglass djembe is one of the most innovative and revolutionary instruments in the musical world especially in the percussive genre its lightweight and sturdy design combined with its booming sound has enthralled musicians and music enthusiasts alike and has quickly come to be a staple in several genres however the story of its creation isn't as well known as it should be the Tycoon Fiberglass Djembe was invented by a talented and innovative musician and businessman, named Mark Kyle. Kyle was inspired to create the Tycoon Fiberglass Djembe by the limitations and flaws he saw in traditional wooden djembes. Wooden djembes are known to be fragile, susceptible to environmental changes and damage, and can sound slightly different depending on the humidity or temperature of their environment. These inconsistencies and limitations led Kyle to develop a new and improved design that tackled these problems, providing a solution that was lightweight, sturdy, and consistent in its sound. Together with his team of skilled craftsmen, Kyle started creating the Tycoon Fiberglass Djembe in his workshop in Bangkok. If you have any ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comments below and we'll do our best to get it out there for you. I was going to take the solo. <laughs> <laughs>